This video will be going over how to use the Create Railways Navigator mod, which is a mod made by Mr. Yolson that allows you to display a lot more information and has these display boards, different size and variants, which can display different information on your station, in your station, as well as on the train. There's six different, there's six different types of advanced displays you can use. There's the full block. There's the half block, there's the water block, uh, there's the panel, there's the half panel, and there's this slanted display. Uh, each of them can be used for any type, but you wouldn't use something like the slanted display panel to show a lot of information because it just wouldn't fit. You would use uh, uh, a lot of Trans uh, blocks or maybe panels to get all to make sure everything fits and it looks nice, right? You get a wrench uh, and you right click uh, at any advanced display, you will get this menu. Uh, this menu will allow you to select what type of information, how much information you want to uh, to show up. Also, it has an, uh, most of most of the blocks on this place have a quite have a thick. Uh, tick selector, you know what I mean, uh, which when you click it, will make the display double sided. This works uh, on most of the on most of the displays, except the slanted one because the slanted one is already double sided, so and you can't only double sided. Okay, let's go through all the modes uh, that you can select and what information shows up in all of them. Uh, let's start with the train. The new thing that this mod adds is the ability to show up information about your train on your train. So basically, this train is a running train that goes from station A, station 1, station 2 here, to station 3 there. And it just goes on a loop. If I look, and these are different uh, displays showing different modes and different amounts of information. The one on the left is the train destination mode. This is this this is destination display set on simple. This will show the train name on the left and the station that this train goes to. What is the like destination for this train? Next up we have the second display the uh, there's the simple, there's simple, there's the detailed. This is the detailed destination display. This will show you the same as this train name, where the train is heading, and which which station does the train stop at. So this would be like uh, this would be like one of these. The third option is informative. Informative mode shows you the name of the train which carriage this display is on. So basically, if you have a few carriages, this will show you the number, which carriage number it is in the start of the train. It also shows you who station you're at and where the train is heading. This would be used uh, outside the train. So I will use the simple one out uh, in the front of the train, above the train cabin. That's made like this. This is uh, used on like interstate carriages uh, as it has this kind of design. Of course, any of these can be used in different uh, configurations using different display panels. The one display panels they can be shorter, shorter, longer. I just made it made them like this for demonstration purposes. This next mode of display panel working is the passenger information. Passenger information. The top one is on simple. This just tells you which station you're at, which station the train is heading to, and what is the next stop. This has all the same information, but also if there's like if if it has enough time, it will also show you the speed that the train is heading at, the day and time. This is this is the informative mode. This will show you. Where the train? What's the next station? What's the next? What's the next station after that? And what is the last station the train is stopping at? 
Also, let's show the name of the train. Oh, let's show the speed. Show the name of the train. And also the time. This is like the most information you can get. So that I would. This is what I would use if it was something like this. Information I would. This, this is the mode I would use. Was uh, something like this. So now with the modes that you use on the train, on the train, figured out. Let's go over and see modes you would use on a station. The first option is button space simple. Uh, this just shows the time when there's no trains going to the station. So you can see it shows the time and which train to where. This one I would use uh, for simple just display board display boards on like rural stations. Things like you can see in Britain. This is set to detail. The detail mode shows you of course the time. Uh, of course, show all the same information as here. Also, it will show uh, it will show it in a list list uh, like. So if I add more displays and reconnect it, because all of the train displays require you to get connected with a display signal for a train station. So that's the uh, detailed mode. Now this is now it's time for the informative mode. The informative mode has two types, has two modes. Uh, it has a platform display. This, would, this one you could use uh, individual on own platforms, and this is the aggregate display. This is the display you would use to show up all the trains that would stop in a multi-platform train station. So something like this. Um, to make sure you get the right mode, uh, this mode will show up. If your display link, if your display link is set up to just have a name of a station, then this will show up. This mode will show up if you use a wildcard. If you didn't know, if you have more than two platforms uh, in a station, and you want trains to use both of them and pick the most optimal ones, and maybe to show up like more information all in one place, uh, you call them. Station three, platform one. Station three, platform two. And whenever you want information about both the stations, or you want the train to use uh, either of them in the train schedule, or in your display link. So over here, instead of writing platform one, for example, you would write a wildcard. So a star like this. This will call display to show only information. Show information from all the trains that are called station tree and has whatever it is behind them. So if you call the station station tree A B C D, this will still show up on the display board. You may notice that the platform line is empty. This is because you have to set it up. You have to tell the mod which which track stations, so this block, which platforms. With this we open an item called the Create Railways Navigator. I'll tell you how to use this thing later, but Something we're going to focus on is the global settings. Click here, we have a lot of options, but what we need is train station, station types. Here we can tell the mod which platform is which track station, which block is which platform. So we can create a new station, we'll call this station tree. And when we have it, and click show this and start adding stations. So let's add station tree platform one. We call uh, name this platform one. So this is where you put in the track station name, and this is where you put in the platform number. And we click add station. Next, we're going to add station tree platform two. We're going to add this. Now, if we exit out of this and wait for this screen to update, you can see that the platform number showed up because because we told the mod this block. This platform one. If you want to change something more, this type, of, this display, this is what these options are here. These options uh, are mostly for the big display, but also can be used on the small displays. You can use it to change the mode, to change what kind of change what kind of information shows up uh, on the display board. You can change it so, for example, instead of telling you. Uh, what time the train arrives? It's because you how many time till the train arrives. If something else you can change. You can change the platform column list. For example, if you have uh, if you 
sure part for numbers are longer so because it tells you something you don't want them to be named something else you don't want them to have a number you can use uh, this to manage it and the trade name for them if for example if, if your trade names are much short uh, much shorter than 16 pixels or longer you can go into here and change it so example my one is just two letters so i'm going to change my train for train name column width i'm going to change it to six and now this the train name so the line thing takes a place of course you said it what you want other thing that this mod does is allows you to set c connections so if you go back to the train and look at this display board this as so this tell you the informative uh, passenger information mode. When we go to global settings and create this type for station one, and at all this all, um, for example, for example, add this truck station. And this truck station, this is truck, sta truck station, station A and station B. And we add uh, station A and station 1 together into one station pack. If mod sees these blocks, of course, these two stops as one station. So if you go back to our train and wait, on, wait until it gets to, map to that station over there, what it will do? It will show you the connections, so it'll tell you which trains are connected. You can which trains you can board from the station that you're arriving. So let's if we're gonna wait. Next connections, you can see seven thirty the S two line. So the line you can see on the right. We're gonna go to station B from platform two. So this is useful to to show up like which trains you can board from the next station. Finally, the last one of the last things. Uh, there's a clock in the mod. You can click and get the time. It will move. I have my time turned off, so it doesn't move. But it usually just moves around. And there's the create where is navigating. This allows you to uh, find the route between two stations. For example, I'm on station three, so over there, and I want to get to station over there. So the station station will be over there. There are no direct trains, but if I look up uh, a route from station from station three to station B, I will receive I will get a route plan that will tell me which train I have to board, which platform, and how where do I transfer to which train. We can save this connection, so we can click the button here, and we will receive whole route plan on top left for all the things like delays and uh, cancellations of the train it doesn't actually start the extra route i don't know somebody stops it it's called it's going to show up as cancelled r you can change the position and change the size so make sure you get a bit smaller or bigger you can change that here uh, so thanks for watching and if you have any questions uh, you can ask in the comments below or go on to Mr. Yulson's Discord server. Uh, there are people that can help you there. See you later.